Goshen, New York. Goshen, New York. Goshen, New York. Goshen, New York. If there is a meeting but you cannot go, GoshenNewYork.info London, Paris, Tokyo, Hong Kong, no matter where in the world you can turn it on. Goshen, New York, Goshen, New York, Goshen, New York, dot info. Thanks everybody for coming. The first item on the agenda is a public hearing regarding Local Law 1 of 2012, Section 89-5, Designation of Stop Signs at Intersection. And uh, Dennis, why don't you go ahead and, uh, well first of all, would someone like to make a motion we open the public hearing? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Dennis, could you uh, kind of go through this uh, sure. legal notice for us, please? Yeah. Uh, as, the board, uh, as the board's aware, at a prior meeting on August 23, 2012, you had before you the text of the local law, and we set a public hearing in connection with this local law number one in 2012 for this evening. And uh, very simply, it provides for the installation of two stop signs on Chichunk Road in the direction of west and east with Owens Road. So as to obviously uh, perhaps police that particular intersection in a more safely manner. Okay. Uh, with that, does anybody in the public have comments regarding this uh, proposed law? Yes, sir. Um, you could... Uh, Mine. Okay, what, what this does, it, it just records the minutes. So, so you just need to state your name and uh, your address, please. Richard Pucci, 216 Chichang. Um, I appreciate that you're even considering putting stop signs up, but I think a little bit more has to be considered. They, the, there has to be a sign on the opposite end on Hartley as well. Uh, I live at 216, which is near Hartley, and they speed through from New Hampton, through that Hartley intersection. They take out my mailbox, Mr. Rona's mailbox. They hit the telephone poles on that side of the road, as well as coming down from the Owen side. It's a, it's a dual problem on both sides. It's not just the Owen side that, that is the problem. Okay. So I appreciate you considering the stop sign on the Owen side, but I would think that you should also consider the Hartley side as well. I know that it's going to put a stop sign on my property, but I don't care. It's, it's, it's well, there's going to be a stop sign on in both directions. So as people come from New Hampton down around the corner, they're going to s slow down the stop of that stop sign at the, at the intersection between uh, Chichon and, and, and Owens Road. Yeah, I'm talking about the intersection of the Hartley. It's further up. Further up. Much okay, further well, further up around right. the bend, yeah. yeah. Okay, but I have to, okay, I guess well, I'm trying to get clarification. So as they're coming from New Hampton and they come down, there's an, an intersection at Hartley. And people... They speed through that intersection. Um, as a matter of fact, you, you watch them, they, they're actually beyond the yellow line. They're actually driving right through the middle of the road. I have the pictures that I took just Saturday. Okay. A girl took that intersection and plowed off the road between my property uh, and... and um, Mr. Ronan's Ronan's property. I have the pictures to show you. Can I just see those? So I think that's a T there. It is a T. It's yeah, not an intersection. Yeah. I don't have. It's okay. a T, and so that's one of strictly yeah. speeding uh, versus one of uh of yeah exactly. Right. Okay. Yep. Yep. Just run to the front. Yeah. It's not a problem. It's our problem. Yeah. 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 So so you. Let's see. The intersection. Are we allowed to keep these pictures? Keep them. Okay. Okay. 
just you know, just so I can show. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and, and probably now just so the board's aware. Technically speaking, it's not an intersection. No, no, it's, it's, it's where Marlboro yeah, Road sure, crosses right. on top of. I'm uh, sorry. Where, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a speeding problem. Yeah. Right. The Harley Road has a speeding problem on Tuesday. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a bit of yeah. a U-T. On, on Saturday, just this past Saturday, this is the car that sped off the road. Oh, this, is, this is uh off of T Jump. Right. She was on she was and on, she, she, she was on T Jump the entire time. And she was on T Jump, she sped off the road. Was she okay at home? Yeah. Oh. Yes. I think we have another issue there on that one. Uh yeah. which what we need to look into. But uh okay. Yeah, what you can do is the board you know, obviously you can you have your police department monitor it. Highway just to check it in terms of well, that's well, I think what I like to do is, is move and get in there to figure out what's going to do. Yeah. And your your home is just opposite, uh, just beyond Hartley intersection. Is um, on those photos, right, I, I can see I can see that I I'm looking down at all of that. Your job with it? Yeah. Okay. Can we take it by the sir? Could you do me a favor? Yes. Could you put your name and address on the back of one of those yes. pictures with your phone number? If you don't mind. Just to add a little bit of verification between Owens and Hartley Road, that stretch that has a turn, my wife was in a head on collision because someone came around that turned a little fast, swayed way into her lane. She was in her lane and was in a head-on collision. And the one car was total and our car wasn't. It was a big station wagon. Right? It was very, very dangerous. Uh, so if there is anything we can do, uh, I would absolutely jump on that bad way uh, because that is such a dangerous area. So anything we can do to slow them down, put stop signs up, whatever, would be, I think, critical. Okay. Sir, thank you very much for yeah. your uh, comments. Okay. Any other comments from the public? Uh, we do have one letter that's entered into the uh, uh, record from, what's the gentleman's name? Robert, yeah. Oh, yeah. who uh, is in favor also, according to the comments in his letter, that uh, Susan and Dana Rocca, okay. that uh, they're in favor of the stop signs as well. Okay. okay. All right, if there are no other comments, uh, would someone like to make a motion if we close the public hearing? So moved. Can I just uh, oh, say one of the oh, uh, yeah. I just wanted to also note that on August 20th, we received a letter from uh, Robert Knoll the uh, superintendent of highways uh, basically recommending to this to us as well. Good. Yeah, that, that was the initiation of the law. Right. The law. Okay. Very good. All right. Uh, we would like to make a motion we close the public hearing. So moved. Second. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. Well, what are your druthers based on what we've heard in the letters and also the comments this evening? I make a motion that we approve the uh, motion law number one, 2012, as written. Sa second. Okay. Uh, any discussion on that? I, I think what I'd like to do is say to you, sir, and your wife, that we will certainly be looking in what you're looking at. I think what we have is a, is a separate problem. Mm -hmm. two, two are linked. And, uh, yeah. and pursuant to what Mr. Uh, Capella said he's our liaison to the Department of Public Works that they look at that, work with the police department and see if we can come up with another record recommendation relative to that. I will do that, sir. Uh, but tonight we have this local law in front of us. All right. Uh, but uh, just so you know, uh, when you had the last accident out there, not the one you're talking about, when they hit the telephone pole, that, that was a few, uh, probably a month ago now. Well, the, just to clarify, the following day, there was another accident. Well, we know there's accidents out there. Yeah, yeah. All right. It was, but I'm just letting you know, the following that day. Me, and, me and Robert Noah went out there that evening, and, uh, and that's how this all came about. Uh, 
also because of the history of that uh, coming around that turn. Yep. And uh, we felt that this time the, uh, the stop signs will stop them coming through where Owens is and possibly salvage less accidents over there. Now this is another issue that we'll check out, but yep. like tonight we have this yep. local law on the books. <coughs> That's why I asked you for your phone number and so forth. Alright, All right. thank you sir. Councilman Newball. Aye. Councilman Capella. Aye. Supervisor Bloomfield. Aye. Motion carries the adoption of Local Law 1-2012. Well, you know, I kind of like it when we uh, get people saying, you know, we, we need to fix this and fix that because it's your, it's your town. And uh, we will do our best to see what we can do and solicit your input as well as the uh, that the police and the highway department. So we will. Do something. Yeah. We will have local law number two on the books. So yeah. That's what we do. In fact, uh, it, it's it's really interesting. I live out on Route 17, which is a state highway, and Houston Road is a town road. So it's a state issue, not a, a Houston Road issue. But there were two accidents, rear endings, uh, accidents, a uh, lot of property damage, destroyed three cars in the two accidents, and so. I'm working with the, the state to see what they can do about it. So it's one of those kinds of things, depending on where we live. Uh, but cars seem to be going faster than before in the past. People are preoccupied with doing something else, thinking about something. I think people in general might just be uh, more pressurized, hurry up and get there, or whatever it might be. I don't know. But anyway, there's, it is, and I've heard other people say the same thing, that, that we have to be cautious. An automobile or a truck or whatever can do a lot of damage. Oh. Yeah, the, the sad part of this is my son's sa my son's favorite sport mm -hmm. is to go out on the porch on a rainy day with his cup of hot chocolate and watch for cars to fall off the road. Mm -hmm. That's how often yeah. it is. Yeah. It's 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 his favorite thing to do is to laugh at these it's cars it falling off the road. It is awful. Awesome. It happens all the time. My wife was hit by an uninsured motorist also. She was uh, not at fault. She was on the side of the highway. And it was brutal. Uh, we, we could not recover any, any of the damage. It was, just, it was all crazy. Is she okay? She is. It was many years ago. My daughter was in the car, too. Yeah. So. Okay, the second item in the agenda, but thank you very much for coming in and sharing that with us, is uh, number one is to review the proposed 2013 contract for legal services with Thomas Drogan Waxman. Pettigrew and Mailey, LLP, and authorize the supervisor to sign the same. And basically, you can see the, uh, take care, folks, the, uh, the letter to me from them. And basically, what it says is that due to the continued difficulty municipalities are experiencing the financial budgets, our firm is again elected to freeze our rates at the levels in effect since 2009. So, would someone like to make a motion to authorize me to sign this contract? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 And I think that just shares kind of where our professionals see us going as well. You know, we, we're still that 2% tax caps. It's, uh, we'll hear later from Bill tonight. It's, it's, a, it's a road to hope. Okay, the next one uh, is a review and approve request to hire Jose E. Soto at $18 per hour as part-time court attendant effective August 14, 2012. Continue to have uh, uh, a background check. And, what, and I'm going to do the next one as part of this. Review and approve request to hire Travis Hall at $18 per hour effective August 18th. Continue to find the background check. Now this was discussed in an executive session some time ago, uh, so that's why it's retroactive. We had to come back into the uh, um, session to make it official. So would someone like to make a motion regarding item number two? So moved. Is there a second? A second. Any discussion? Yes. Okay. Yes, so you know, I've voted against the, the, the differential pay during the executive meeting, and uh, 
I see no justification of eighteen dollars an hour. I review we've had the same with security guards for many, many years. We haven't had anything that I could find out of it as a major incident to change the philosophy of hiring people. I think just giving raises for the sake of giving raises, so I'll be voting no. Okay. Any other discussion? Okay. Uh, okay, all players say aye. 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 No? Aye. Okay. Uh, motion carries. Okay. Regarding item three, um, would someone like to make a motion in regard to that item? Uh, so moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, negative? No. Okay. Motion carries. The, uh, the reason why it's 18 versus 14 is there was a differential in the discussion. And uh, I put it this way because of equal work, equal pay. Same job description, paying 114 and then 118 uh, is, uh, this would just lead to make major problem. That would, that would open this up to the EEOC. And, uh, so, but I have to agree with Ken as well. Uh, the last two were at $14 an hour or $14 plus. And, uh, and I wasn't part of that discussion, but um, this was a step in the wrong direction, I think, relative from my own personal belief. Okay. Uh, item four, review and approve resolution to authorize the supervisor to sign a third party lease and service agreement with the County of Orange for a new dial a bus. Uh, I asked Roderick to uh, he sent a letter to us and said that regarding this lease back in July 24th okay, and uh, this in, in the second paragraph it said this bus is being funded through a section 5307 federal transit administrative grant by a stimulus fund thus it is 100 percent funded and does not require the typical 10 percent town cost share that has been associated with bus purchases in the past so this is left over from uh, stimulus money federal money and so we don't have to pay the 10%. We're in, we're in partnership with Chester, so each one of us would have to pay 5% other one. So, uh, Dennis, would you go through the uh, resolution? Yeah, first? the resolution just memorializes uh, in writing what you had done previously, as the board may recall. You previously authorized the supervisor to sign the contract, but the county's requested a formal resolution to be submitted. And as Doug pointed out, uh, it's fully funded. There's no exposure, if you will, at this time to us or to Chester. But in addition, uh, it's brought to light of a separate problems. I think you're aware of, Doug, that the town of Chester is not on this contract. I mean, we are contracted with the county of Orange, vice versa. Chester is more or less with us by our good graces. There's, there's nothing in right. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's just something to keep in the back of your mind. You can't rectify it tonight. But well, going forward, you know, we had. Okay, well, first of all, would someone like to make a motion yeah, regarding right. this uh, resolution? So moved. Okay, second. Okay. When we were uh, working with Chester on, on changing the bus schedules and all that business, we had someone from the county over here going through all this with us, and that item came up. Okay. So it's known, and it's, it's there. We, we elected not to deal with it at that time. And I don't know if we'll ever deal with it, but it's it is known. So, uh, but we shared 50-50 all the costs. So, in reality, whether you're a contract with the county or not, we were the first ones up to bat with this, right. and we did it. And then we we brought in Chester as a partner, and then we brought in Blooming Grove, Hampton Park, pardon me, as a partner. They elected to get out, right. and then here we are. So, all that being equal. I, I have not, uh, I'm just curious as to, I have not seen the lease agreement on it. should be. Curious as to, is it in our folder? Yeah, well, to, uh, 
I know we've talked about it. I'm just, I, I'm just, I just want to know what a third party lease agreement is. Uh, third party. Third party even agreement. The, I asked the, uh -huh. I, I asked Val to put that in there. I gave it to her. Yeah. Is it in one of your packages? It's a okay. one page. I, I, do you have it? For one page. Have you seen it, Dennis? Have, no. you, have you seen About it? About six pages. One I saw was one page. Okay. Yeah, no, in fact, I've got a copy now. Okay. If you want to, uh, first of all, wants to make a copy for the board. Well, I think the question that, that Phil has is, is there anything else in that agreement that would would that would influence how we're going to be working with this dial of us going forward? This is different than what we've done in the past. Yeah, again, uh, in response, not that I'm aware of, but I have not parsed this. Uh, I'm you know, mm -hmm. through it now. I, I received it today from Barbara, your office. Right. Okay. And maybe, maybe that's where it came. It came to me yeah. as opposed to going to the town. Court. So uh, I don't know what the terms or dollars or, or what the buyback or the ownership or the service agreement. I, I have no. And I'm sure it's fine, but I really don't know what that means. The third party lease agreement. So here's the, here's the situation. You familiar with that term, Dennis? Third party uh, lease agreement. Uh, I am, but not with regards to this. Uh, okay. You know, the county is. I suppose it's a federal it's, grant. It comes from uh -huh. the federal government's not part of the contract. The county takes those monies, if you will, uh, purchases the vehicle. And they contracts with us. And, and, and when they go uh -huh. out of service, just so you know, they right. go back to the county. Correct. So it's not something we keep. When it goes so, so I think that's the third party aspect. And not the best uh, name, if you will. Is it, it's yeah. a is it does the county have title to this? Is that, and they sell yeah. it? Or? Uh, yeah. That would be just a lease agreement, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now, in connection with that, the agreement obviously runs from. Uh, what do you want to say? Mm hmm. Or it kept went by and between the county of Orange, the town of Goshen, right? And they refer to the funding coming from the federal government. I suspect, or suspect, that's the third party, and it provides that you know we're going to be utilizing this in terms of an equipment purchase, which will be at least, if you will, at, at no cost because it's fully funded by the state. Right. Okay. And okay. thereafter, um, we use it, maintain it. A disposition of the equipment upon the earlier by the completion of the service period or the termination of this agreement, the capital equipment shall be disposed of in the manner provided in Appendix E, which is naturally not here. Okay, okay that's Appendix C. Hold on a second. Wait, here's E. Uh, that should tell you somewhat what's going on. No part of the capital equipment shall be sold, etc., without the express written consent of commissioner and the state controller. It's uh, FIA, FIA, which is probably the federal agency. Mm -hmm. uh, if any capital equipment or portion thereof is sold other than for the replacement of such services, uh, the state share of the proceeds from each sale be reimbursed to the state controller, deposit the general fund, any disposition of the equipment purchased under this agreement shall conform with CFR 18, which regulations are hereby incorporated by reference. That yeah, it remains. So that's the county and the state. So all we have to do is, at no cost, I hope, correct. on the third party leases, take the vehicle, correct. And use the and vehicle, maintain, maintain, maintain and it. We and can't give dispose it back, of it. we got to give it back. Give it back to exactly. the county, and they can't dispose of it unless they get the proper. That or should we be that. approved to dispose of it for fine. whatever reason? The money would have to go back to no, the no, county. No, okay. The Good. Okay. Thank you. I, I didn't yeah. Know. Okay. Huh? Thank you. Uh, any other discussion? Yeah, no cost to us. I'm good with it. No. no. Okay, uh, Madam Clerk, we have a roll call vote, please. Councilman Cantorino? Aye. Councilman Lyons? Aye. Councilman Newball? Aye. Councilman Capella? Aye. Supervisor Winfield? Aye. Okay. Uh, motion carries. The, uh, I just want to say that. Yeah, in fact, wait, for George said, too, well, I, obviously we have to maintain insurance on it. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay, so you're aware. So that, that is one cost we do have, obviously. Uh, they will not insure the vehicle. Uh, right. It's our responsibility. And the status of the vehicle is? It's here. It's here. Is here? Is it on the road? No. no. No, they got in their parking lot until we sign this document. Right. And the, it'll be delivered to us by right. with Right. Normally, the lessor has to be additional insurance. You'll call the insurance. I'll follow up. We'll take one off. Right. I'll take one off. And they can. Right. It's a right. okay. So they'll take one off if they right. return one, <laughs> which they probably will. Right. Uh, and secondly, uh, it's been we've been waiting a long time for a new bus because, yeah. as you know, we reviewed this last year. A lot, a lot of our problems is maintenance cost. So having a new bus will hopefully will make the maintenance cost less because they've been going in over the Healy and so forth. 
So, anyway. Okay. The carriage probably additionally insured on that charge. Yeah, they should. Yeah, they are. They, they will. Be will be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. The next thing yeah. we have is um, I've asked Bill Standish, our budget officer, Thank you, Bill. to oh, review yeah. the first draft of the financial budget for calendar year two for financial budget year 2013 for the town of Goshen. Um, and uh, and uh, so the things I'd like to make perfectly clear is this is the first draft of it. There will be a lot of changes between now and November when we review it with the public and, and we go to adopt it. So uh, I, I'm very optimistic about this budget versus what we had in the past. It seemed to me last year, instead of being about, now this is 9.56%, mm -hmm. I think we started last year, we were over 40%, if I'm not mistaken. So, Bill can talk. So anyway, we don't have as far to go, but I'm going to share this with you. How far we got to go is just as serious a problem. So, Bill, and if you... Okay. Um, just for your uh, reification at the top, you see all the four funds that involve the tax uh, taxation for our uh, town and village residents. Uh, at this point, the combined rate that would go forward if we were to adopt this today, which obviously we won't, is 9.56%. Uh, the A fund would be at 12.66, DA at well, nearly 5%, B almost 10%, TB at almost 8%. The fact that we're just barely into a single digit overall rate is very encouraging. And we, we do need to get down to a 2%. Uh, New York State tax cap. This makes it a whole lot easier than last year did to get there. Uh, we did do a lot of slicing and dicing last year and moving around some of the revenues that maybe we had on the books that were not living up to their standard of the prior years and so that's been painful to do. We had to do some more this year. One would be park lanes but we'll cover that uh, when we get to it. And also uh, just a reminder that both funds A and D A affect village and town residents together. They both get taxed for those funds but only the town residents get taxed for the B and D B portion. So, town residents uh, take a hit for all four village residents for the uh, the front two A and D A. Would you say A and D A? A and D A. Anything with an A in it is village and town wide. B is strictly town residents only. Uh, our determinations that that we have for all these funds at this point before we go forward. <coughs> that the, uh, the current A fund balance uh, right now is in the red. Uh, it's not seriously in the red, but that's serious. In the red is at 17,000. We need to budget responsibly to increase those funds. Not going to be excessive this year, but it's going to take a couple of years to get it back to where we feel comfortable that we have some good reliance on uh, go-to funds should an should uh, emergency arise. So we do need to work on that. Uh, justice revenues are down slightly in 2012. They were also down in 2011. The decline there hasn't been horrendous, but we're still seeing a slight de decline, so we try to budget responsibly there, so we lose a little revenue there. Mortgage tax revenues also continue to decrease. Um, I think we budgeted 250 and we're trending 236. Um, so we'll, we'll drop that down a little bit also. Parkland revenues that we've been taking in over the years, we've been taking in a lot, but we've always been able to take in a, you know, a moderate amount of parkland fees. It's always been a line item with uh, revenue amounts on it. We've always been okay with the budget, but this last year we really didn't get much of anything, and that, that's a number we really don't want to be putting on there uh, because it really is it's faulty if we don't get any closeouts on COs where we can turn over the parkland fees and bring them in the door. So we're removing that as a budget item, and then going forward, anything we get for parklands is a plus. It's just, uh, it throws us above budget and goes into the fund balance. Legal costs, one of our biggest areas for the A fund, uh, have been tax tertiaries over the last actually three years. And uh, very hard to know what our legal and um, engineering costs are going to be on the whole when we regard these tax tertiaries. Uh, because 
some are significant and need to be dealt with uh, significantly, others are not, not as hard, but we can't know what they're going to be before we get to that point. Uh, the legal costs this year are trending $113,000 over budget. Now, my information, I think I'm correct about this, is that we're just about at the end of those tax certs or somewhere near it. So, you know, that's going to be a much improved line, I hope, by next year, by the middle of next year. I don't think we're one of the items that's, that's <laughs> one of the items that uh, we're 113000 over. But we'll probably spend four hundred thousand dollars on defending the Altieri lands for right. tax surgery by yeah, itself. Yeah, absolutely. So, so and uh, can, it, it, wait, does that include the appraisal work? Is everything. That to, that's everything to do with tax. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just curious. Yes. That, believe it or not, as, as bad as that number is, it's not bad. That, I know but it's bad if you only have set a minus well, no thousand dollars to bank. <laughs> but I'm gonna say. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Well, let me go through that again. We ended last year. We ended. 2012 yeah. minus $17,000 unbalanced in a fund. Okay. Yeah, that's that was 2011. I'm sorry, 11. Yeah. 11. So th this is yeah. this is a, 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 it's a big deal here. Yeah, this is this is that we've been riding with this for three years because we were loaded with the tax search yeah. and uh, and that's a special interest of all of our taxpayers. Nothing we can really do about it significantly because it is what it is when you are changing your your rating. Right. Uh, but we have to deal with it. That's coming to a close, so that's, that's the good news there. Um, the retirement increases for 2013, the original projection we got, uh, and I don't expect it to hold this high, was 39% for the uh, non-union employees, and I believe 17% for, uh, uh, for police. But that's not the final. We, we continually get in new updates uh, while they're still working there and turning their figures on the retirement fund. I'm going to expect that they're going to land right about 15% for police and probably somewhere between 12 and 17% for ERS, the employees, That's not 39%. No, uh, that was not what was projected last year. Uh, they couldn't be yeah, accurate. Can you remind everybody what it was last year? Mm -hmm. I you could, but I've forgotten. It was 70% for PCE, yeah. and it was 40% for everybody else. Mm -hmm. So now they have the audacity to project 39% for everybody else and 17% 17, 17 for PD, and then expect us to be at 2%. Yeah. So to that to that the is crazy. Yeah. Crazy. And you can put that in the paper, Jerry. That is just wrong. Okay. It was even more wrong last year. But, it, you know, because what it happens is to get that part of it below 2%, you've got to cut deep in your organization to find the savings. We need help from Albany, and it has not come. And, and to follow up on that, uh, regarding retirement, we do get a small percentage, and it's way too small of a percentage from the state, exclusion on this 2% tax increase. Not enough to talk about. No, 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 it isn't. Nope. It's a pimple to me. Um, so, uh, just so that we're politically correct, that they do, uh, you do understand they do offer that. To me, to anybody else here that's paying taxes, that's yeah, it's private not. enterprise. If you make bad investments, you just suffer the consequences. Mm -hmm. In the public uh, municipalities in the state, if they make bad investments, they just spread it over to the municipalities and say, "Bring it up to 100 yeah. percent, no matter what." So they they just it, it's it's it, it's just not it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But they just know that they can send you a letter and say, "Listen, the pension fund is falling short." send us the money and we have no choice. We have no choice. No choice. We have very little choice also on workers' comp and hospitalization, which right. we don't see in here. Right. We're really doing pretty well this year. I think we're we're good on budget this year and we I don't expect large increases in those, but we may get a slight pump up because of whatever increases they pass on. Mm -hmm. Last year was was tough to deal with, but I think we're where we need to be on those. Yeah. Um, fund B. Uh, the fund balance in B is in fair shape. And I say that because I'm pleased that it was in horrible shape a couple of years ago, and we grabbed that one right away, and we're able to turn that one around. But uh, it, it being in fair shape means means we need to buffer uh, continued losses in that fund because we really can't let it go lower than that. We really should be just a little higher than what we are. But it's in in, in good shape. Uh, however, in the B fund this year, the uh, police budget's trending approximately 18% over budget. Uh, and so further cuts are going to be required there to get that down, and so that we can help. How much did you say, 18 percent. Percent. 
And how much is that? Is it about $150,000? It's more than that? Well, no, it's not, it's not more than that. Uh, not at the 18%? moment. 18%? Yeah, 18%. No, it's not. Okay, what's our budget? <coughs> the budget is 1.1, 1 .1, um, uh, excuse me, it's more than that. That's, that's salary. Math, right? yeah. but, and okay. but it's all on salaries. Okay. It's on all on the salary line. It's not in the operation line. Okay. So. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, again, projected retirement for police uh, is 17%. Uh, I'm expecting that to be slightly lower, but not much. But that's still a significant increase. DB fund capital road projects has uh, been reduced in 2012 and we do need to bump it up to significantly meet the true needs of, the, of our roads. Our roads really have taken a hit. I think in 2011 we had 300,000 on that line and the year before we had 190, which is nothing in today's cost and environment with uh, 70 plus uh, miles of road. So we really haven't been able to do much justice there. We've wanted to. This year we will try to bump it up. Uh, significantly to try to get that back where we have to get back to better roads and still li live within the 2% uh, increase. Uh, gasoline and diesel prices are uh, at, at the same or more than last year. Now that obviously is a moving target, goes up and down, but we've gone into the $4 range and uh, that's a big item for us running all of our equipment, gas and uh, diesel, diesel especially. Um, the other thing that oil products follow in line with that, the pricing is the same thing. So with our road patch, uh, that's a significant line item for us as well. Uh, so DB has about three lines only that we really have to buckle down on, but they're, they're significant ones. We, uh, we actually have a, also a cash flow difficulty there because of the delay in the FEMA monies. Now, the FEMA monies will chew us up, we'll be fine. Well, we really don't have a problem so far as um, right. the overall picture in DB, but when we continually have to go back in and uh, improve with culverts and road improvements, that money's not coming to us up right. front. Right. So uh, we're chasing the money. When it comes back in, we'll, we'll feel yeah. like we're wealthy, but... Uh, it, it can't be too far off. Uh, well, we certainly hope not. No, I mean, I talked to Broderick, and uh, a lot of the paperwork is in is just waiting on the the approval process of the federal government. Okay. So it's not a year off, it's, it's probably a matter of weeks at most. Um, the DA fund continues to be healthy and allows us to balance against large tax increases each year. Uh, however, we're sparsely budgeted on our capital equipment line and that's something that we've been taking down a little bit too and we felt we were com comfortable enough to squeeze through with our line of equipment that didn't need uh, severe repairs. Um, you know, so going forward we're going to need to increase that line a little bit to keep, keep up with replacing or repairing and uh, refurbishing that equipment. We're, we're not real secure there. Um, and, and as you all know, the last statement is that we do need to meet the New York State 2% tax cut. And, and being at 9.56, that's not a long distance. We, that's, that's certainly doable. Uh, pages 2 and 3 are just really the same as page 1, except for a bit more broken down by what I would consider moderate uh, or greater uh, line items. When we take a look at the A fund revenue and expense, uh, and I'll point out, you have uh, in the first column the 2012 budget and our proposed budget for 2013 and the change that that makes. On the revenue line, um, th those are decreases there, even though there's no, there are no brackets around it. Um, I thought I had changed that for formulas, but it, it does... Uh, uh, the formulas are correct, but they, they're going the wrong way, so I placed the expenses the wrong way, so we had a, a precise idea. You have four lines there, uh, justice fine revenue, mortgage tax, federal aid, dial-a-bus, and interfund transfers, and those really were, I explained on page one. Justice revenues, 275 down to 265, because they're trending somewhere between that number right now as we see it. Uh, so it's a minor decrease, but we're likely to lose that. Mortgage tax down an additional 25,000 in every year. I think we've gone down every year for several years on that line. Federal aid dial of us, that's in every two year remuneration. And we can, we carry that on there. It's been there since before I started here. And it runs about $30,000 revenue each year. However, we get paid every other year, two years worth. So the in-between year, it's foolish to be carrying it because it's, we don't get it in that year. So we, we have a shortfall there. We're taking that off the line so that that also 
will be a, a windfall when it comes. When the, when the federal government decides to process those vouchers two or three years apart, it'll just be good money to go where it's supposed to go. The expense lines, um, currently right now the Justice Department requesting one new part-time employee um, and I have an auditing line for the Justice Court audit. That is something that I've spoken with Nugent and Hausler. They will be coming in whenever we can coordinate it, either before the end of the year or they can incorporate it with next year's audit of all the books. Uh, but we're setting some money aside for that. In the budget department, uh, Jennifer Hart is going to part time. Um, and so we will save some of the wages there. We'll also save some of them, it will save all of the medical that was. Uh, that she was uh, getting, and as, as well as her pension. So there's a savings there. On the assessor line, a uh, request for a new code clerk. If you remember, John Terry was in that position before, so that request is out there. Um, it, that's a part time position that is proposed to split um, between her department and building and zoning, so it's a quarter time each. Some costs that will go away is the re revaluation. Uh, Bob Hilbert fees uh, we had on the books last year of 8,000. Well, that's done, so uh, there is there'll be nothing replaced there, as well as the revaluation other, which I think was pretty much just field work, photos taken, that sort of stuff. Won't be doing that. Engineering appraisals. Doug and I took a look at that. We thought we could shave that down a little bit. I think there was one exceptional item that was a one-shot deal, and it looks like that we can make a slight decrease there. Uh, postage. I have as up by six thousand. I'm in review of that right now. I think probably our postage meter just got increased, and so that may where we're at now trending. Probably we can move that back a couple thousand, not be quite as bad as the twenty thousand. The contingency line last year we held one hundred twenty-seven thousand in the A fund. A lot of that was to try to help bump up our uh, fund balance because I knew it was going to be much worse than seventeen thousand in the red. We'll leave that on the line again this year to continue to make that up and um, include some some monies for um, e either increases or whatever else we think we're going to fall short on some of these line items. Title bus wages, workforce reduction. You see a 42,500 reduction there. Uh, we had one person go to part time, and I believe one part timer has left. And another part timer is really down to about quarter time. So we'll save uh, significant amount there. Again, the employer retirement, we spoke about a 39% increase. That's a, a significant increase, but I don't expect it to be quite that high. Uh, unemployment is new to us. Um, the part timers, whenever we reduce forces, we save a lot of money, but we have to give a little bit back because they go on unemployment. And those two employees would be Lois uh, Intima and Dee Chitano. The DA fund, uh, revenues really aren't changing there. We don't get a lot of revenues in there other than the tax, um, and, but that's staying pretty stable. The expense side, capital equipment, 28,000 on the capital equipment line. We have dump trucks with plows and that sort of thing. 28,000 hardly buys a full bolt, a few bolts for that. But in being a little bit careful, we think we can get through another year by just gradually increasing that, getting that up around 75 to 100 next year or the following. And, and make sure that we're, we're, we're safe there. Equipment maintenance, uh, they're running a little high in equipment maintenance this year. And it's trending a, a bit more than the 50, but we don't think it'll be as high as 50 next year. Uh, so we moved that up to keep the older equipment in shape. And there you see uh, retirement is the same uh, issue there. The hospitalization uh, probably didn't need to be on there. That runs between the DA and DB fund. It depends on how many hours are worked in one as to the other. This year, uh, more of the hours were in the DB fund because we had no snow. So uh, DA gets the benefit of a little bit of credit back uh, for hospitalization. So that's all that relates to. Before you turn the page, Bill, mm -hmm. based on the first set of figures, you have a decrease of $198,574 from the 2012 budget to 2013. So mm. that, that's not a negative figure. It no, show that's that. an increase. It says, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how that works. Because if you look at the top, the revenues, those I have to represent as decreases. Okay, so we're, we're losing money on the revenue side, 
So that's causing the taxes to go right, up. Right, but I, I, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to do the numbers, and they, they don't add up based on the decreases. Okay, we'll go on. No, that, that's no, we, we were part of this. I was part that's of okay. it. That's okay. And I will change those formulas and reissue the so okay. that it'll be the same number, 198.574. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, and yeah, fun. We we finished with page two. And the B fund, franchise fees, uh, slight increase there. Uh, I don't know what the story is with our franchise fees going forward, but certainly right, we, we feel comfortable that we can bump that up a little bit. Um, building permits, in speaking with the uh, building and zoning department, Neil, Neil's gone over the permits and the COs, and he feels comfortable that uh, 65000 is is reasonable. He thinks it might be a little higher than that. I don't want to get too... Uh, flagrant about it. Uh, so currently it's at 65. COs, you know, down a couple thousand on that. Uh, sales tax, we are trending over our budget of 2012, which is 900,000. We're going up to a million. Uh, we continue to not know where that's going. We continue to be amazed that it's held pretty much to where we budget. And uh, we are grateful for that, but we just can't know the economy. Um, what it will be going forward. Expense side, engineers, planning, and consultants, uh, uh, the budget is going up 6500 there. Contingency line, uh, 102000 last year, getting it up a little bit to 125. We want to continue to build just a little bit more back into that B fund, uh, 23000 increase there. The next block uh, are four, four items under police, and that would be the chief of police, which we had budgeted for this year, for part-time chief at 50,000, uh, I believe we're in the 30,000 range going forward, it's my understanding, um, for a part-timer in the new year. Part-time police regular hours consistently run way over. This is our big line item for the police, not so much the other lines. Um, we had them budgeted at 57,000. They're trending uh, They're trending more than 107,000 for this year but they're asking for 107000 on that line for next year for uh, We have three shifts and, and uh, part-time lines that affect that. Um, they're bumping it up 50000 They have proposed, uh, we put the secretary down to part-time last year, in, uh, excuse me, this year, 2012, they're proposing that she go back to full-time. Uh, so that would, that would increase it back, uh, double of her part-time salary, 19000 and the officer in charge pay, uh, a contractual item has always been there. It's higher this year because we don't have a chief and someone is always sitting in for him. So of course that line item is going to go up. Um, as we move the part-time police chief in, it'll come down some, but not as much as it would have been a full-timer. So we'll still see a little bit of excess in that line. We have added a police car uh, to their line. The uh, contract will be up at the end of this year for police, PBA. So we'll be into negotiations again, and we've put back a line item for legal uh, for the negotiations for the PBA contract. Building and zoning software, Neil's had 17,000 on that line for special software, which he, he seriously has needed. However, he decreased it because there's a different way he can go with it, and uh, he will be purchasing it this year. We want to make sure that he's out from the old DOS system that thing ever crashes, he's losing his material. So uh, he'll move forward to, uh, with it, but he, please, he, he's got a quote of about 5,000, and that should satisfy it. Employee retirement, same story. Police retirement, same story. Those are the preliminary quotes. And the unemployment line there uh, was Dennis Marsh. Uh, as far as unemployment is concerned, with all these people, I will check with the Office of Unemployment to Unemployment, find out what their new criteria is for when those benefits uh, back when I was unemployed many years ago, to make me think about, I believe it was 18 months uh, was the max. So we need to find out how long that goes on. We need to find out uh, if you're retired, do you actually get unemployment or whatever other situations we have with these people to make sure that it's lit right and legal. You're, you're not retired. I can hear that, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop the extension on unemployment. Okay. Six weeks. In the September, the government has stopped the extension. So they stopped it. As of, 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 as of
So it's fine. Okay. You are retired. You cannot get. Oh, okay. If you're retired, you don't get. Right. That's it. First get the first. You get the first pension check. Okay. Uh, I you take on fun if you first are retired. <laughs> We're all well, we'll, 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 we'll talk about it. Yeah. But that's not been the case. Well, because, Bill, I, I, I've just retired, so I know all this. It's, 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 it's very fresh in my pocket. I've checked it on the plane. Okay. Now, that's good, good information. Yeah. We'll yeah. find out. So, I mean, that line will change, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Um, DD fund, really the only line there is their capital road projects. And uh, in today's day and age, and when I first started here, I think we had about $250,000 on that line. Used to squeak by with that, and then still have complaints that roads weren't all where they should have been. We bumped up a little bit, and due to recession, we had to bring it back, sort of thing. Um, we budgeted 270 for last year, and uh, we're proposing to go up another 100,000 to 370. I'd like to see it at 400, so that when we do the roads, they're done, they're done the way they should be, and uh, we can move forward with that. Now, bear in mind, we also have 113,000 in chips money. Uh, from the government. So we have that every year. It's just about the same, almost to the dollar every year. We can use that. So if you take 370 and add in the 113, uh, you're in pretty good shape. Um, total changes to all funds. You can see the difference is a $444,000 increase. Uh, I forgot to look before I came down, but I'm just working on my 2% tax increase. I believe we need to be at 200 and I think 40,000. So we have a, a fair amount to shape, but I, I think we've discussed ways that we can go in and take out some significant Before you, I'll let you have my purposely, gentlemen, didn't pass these out to you, because I knew like a school teacher in this class should be flipping through them while I was teaching, <laughs> teaching them. See how offended they are? <laughs> yeah, we're right. We have no feelings up here, too. Right. I've been here eight years since the first time with a smart enough not to do it. <laughs> but here they are. When I used to give proposals out to my clients that never gave the last page. I'll see you in Or else I never give the talk. Uh, well, there'll be a lot of questions. Huh? Yeah. Well, what, what I'd like to do is to say, first of all, thanks to Bill, because Bill and all the department heads, because they've been working diligently to get this information in for the first cut. The, uh, I'd also like to thank Bill and uh, and uh, Phil for we've had several meetings on this to get into this far along. Uh, but all three of us feel that we have a, a, a good opportunity to be at the 2% tax cap. And uh, won't be perfect, won't give us everything we want or what everybody else wants, uh, but it's It'll be our second year in a row, and I think that the cut that we made last year are what's going to enable us to do, do it this year. Uh, because we really hit the bullet on a lot of different issues last year. Phil, do you have any comments before we close this part of it? No, no, I know we've looked at the number of these accounts already, and we kind of got a feeling as to where we can make some inroads as far as the reduction. So now we have to really scrutinize them and see if they're realistic and that's the only way. And I, and I think they will be, you will be under the 2% tax gap. Okay. What about that? Sure. Are you going through the material? You are. Uh, if you go through, highlight any questions you have and you know, come see me. Uh, I, I spotted one error on line, it's not a, not a big item, but I do need to know that if we fat fingered a number or something, we really need to know that. And any questions you have regarding your departments or any other department for that matter, give me a call and we'll set a time to go down and we'll be your highlighted items because that's going to help me uh, go back with you and, and make the further cuts. Um, not mine to cut, it's actually yours. So. Uh, George? Yes, I'm yeah. um, As I think Phil alluded to on the first thing that they asked me, yeah. the numbers don't match up. Like at the end, the 444 Yeah, I'll talk to you about that. that okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, in the, it's in the formula. The number should be correct. Yeah. This is the only yeah. um, The second question okay. I had is these are requests from the department head for oh, yeah. additional staff. Mm -hmm. It's not that it's in the budget. It's just that they That's have correct. Requests. This reflects what right. everybody asked right. for. And what I do the first time around when I ask for their budget, right. I really don't think it's fair for me to tell them I can't have it. I'm not right. a supervisor. I'm not the board. So. Yeah. And it goes, and then you guys get to say yes or no to it. Right. Yeah. I just want to 
just wanted to uh, make, make sure that that was the case. Mm -hmm. we, we are in the process now of purchasing the first people. And it's, uh, we may or may not. We may or may not. Whether we get a state business problem yeah. or not. Right, but that's yeah. we haven't gotten the information back. No. Nope. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. We have that control in this thing, whether or not we can do right. that. Would you ever did? No, no news on that. Right. right. I don't okay. have any news. And then, uh, I guess, last, but not, well, two, two things there. The um, $85,000, that was the paid debt for the solution. Before you, I'll let you have my purposely, gentlemen, didn't pass these out to you because I knew like a school teacher in this class should be flipping through them while I was teaching. <laughs> teaching. <laughs> See how offended they are? <laughs> yeah, we're right. We're really we have no feelings up here, too. Right. I've been here eight years and for the first time I was smart enough not to do it. <laughs> but here they are. When I used to give proposals out to my clients that never gave the last page, oh, or else I never get to talk. Uh, well, there be a lot of questions. Yeah. Well, what, what I'd like to do is to say, first of all, thanks to Bill, because Bill and all the department heads, because they've been working diligently to get this information in for the first cut. The, uh, I'd also like to thank Bill and, uh, and uh, Phil for, we've had several meetings on this to get into this far along. Uh, but all three of us feel that we have a, a good opportunity to be at the 2% tax cap. And uh, we'll be perfect. We'll give us everything we want or what everybody else wants. Uh, but it's it'll be our second year in a row. And I think that the cut that we made last year are what's going to enable us to do, do it this year. Uh, because we really hit the bullet on a lot of different issues last year. Phil, do you have any comments before we Part of it. No, no, I know we've looked at a number of these accounts already and we kind of got a feeling as to where we can make some inroads as far as the reduction. So now we have to really scrutinize them and see if they're realistic and that's the only way. Right. And, and I think they will be, will be under the 2% tax gap. Okay. What about that? Sure. You're going through these. Not not you you are. Uh, if you go through, highlight any questions you have and you know, come see me. Uh, I, I spotted one error on line, it's not, not a big item, but I do need to know that if we fat fingered a number or something, we really need to know that. And any questions you have regarding your departments or any other department for that matter, give me a call and we'll set a time to go down and we'll be your highlighted items because that's going to help me uh, go back with you and, and make the further cuts. Um, not mine to cut, it's actually yours. So. George? Yeah. Um, as I think Phil was on the first day of the the numbers don't match up. Like at the end, the 44226. Yeah, I'll talk to you about that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, in the, it's in the formula. The numbers should be correct. Yeah. This is the okay. yeah. um, The second question okay. I had is these are requests from the department head for oh, yeah. additional staff. It's not that it's in the budget. It's just that they That's correct. Request. It's your flex for everybody asked right. for. And what I do the first time around when I ask for their budget, right. I really don't think it's fair for me to tell them I can't have it. I'm not right. a supervisor. I'm not the board. So, yeah. and it goes, and then you guys get to say yes or no to it. Right. Yeah. I just wanted, just wanted to make, make sure that that was the case. Mm -hmm. we, we're, we are in the process now of purchasing the first people. We may or may not. We may or may not. Whether we get a state business problem yeah. or not. Right, but that's yeah. not, we haven't gotten the information back. No. Nope. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We have that control in this thing, whether or not we can do that. Would you ever No news on that. Right. I don't have any news. And then, uh, I guess, last, but not, well, two, two things actually. The um, $85,000, that was the paid debt for the solution. And that is a moving target, George, but we took a very conservative approach on this at the initial first 
at this at yes, this, time. Yeah, at this time. This can change, George. <laughs> oh, no. I, I understand. I'm comfortable here. Where I stand, I'm comfortable. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the uh, last question was unemployment okay. for Lois. Lois was a person who worked in justice. Justice. Oh, justice. Oh, justice. I thought she was the person that was in the assessment. No, no, no. 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 Justice. And he was down here on the temple. Yeah. So anyway, this is the want list. Yeah, that each of the department heads looked at and paired off as much as they could. So now it's, it'll be up to us. Uh, and what, the way the approach now is that Phil and I and Bill are going to do this. We're going to meet, we're going to verify the incomes, because they're still a moving target. And yep. as we get closer to the uh, November, the other thing is, and George, this is where you're going to be involved, is, is insurance, workman's comp, liability, mm -hmm. etc. That's an unknown. And uh, that could be a big flywheel in terms of increasing our costs or keeping the way they are. Right. So, a lot of work to go on, but I think what we're trying to share with the board is, I think we're going we're gonna to do okay. And, and these with budgets are real, are as realistic as we can get them. Right. We're not looking at pie in the sky or or, yeah. or floating any bonds or revenue anticipation yeah. bonds in order to cover expenses that we're not that we're really not going to highlight because they might be there. Right. What you see here is the most transparent budget, and that's what we've all done. Uh, so you, what what you see is what you have, and we're really pleased that we're starting off at this particular. Okay, and we're still following yeah. the, the axiom, pay as you go or you don't go, don't go, go borrowing this. And that's how we're going to buy a truck, we're going to pay cash. Yeah. So that's how all this is going to work. And that's how we got into this. Position. And that's how we're right. Yes. And our short-term debt relative to these four funds yep. is down to one item, uh, which is extraordinary. So uh, we do have serial bonds due to the um, PDR. The PDR. PDR. Yeah, the purchase uh, of the those are those that's long-term debt. Yeah. So we have those, but anything that has been short term since I arrived or since before I arrived, we're down to one item. What uh, is that? Which one? Is uh, that is PDR. Also, that will turn over to a long term debt. That right now is short term. Now the other thing is we have a we have a uh, this building. Mm -hmm. We pay you off what? Two, uh, 2014 bill. You bet. 2014 will be our last payment. Okay. And at that time, that will be another shot in the arm, and hopefully, if the economy turns around. And that's fun day, guys. So that's that we, yeah, as part of our five-year budget, five-year strategic plan that's in there to give us some hope that we, 2013, 2014. That's that's the, that's this is 13. This is 13. we get through this one. Yeah. We're gonna get a what? How much is it? The eighty-five thousand. Eighty-five thousand. Principal and interest will go yeah. away. That's gonna be awesome. We won't get it in fourteen. We'll get it in fifteen. Fifteen. Fourteen is the last year. We'll do the last year. Yep. So. Okay, good. Bill, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> we have not kicked the can down the road. <laughs> we have kept control of the can. <laughs> We're not kicking the dead can down the road. A lot of money. We don't inherit any debt, that's for sure. No, we are not. Well, as I said, said many times, that if there's not, I don't believe anybody can out cheat this board. Out cheat. Okay. Is that really correct? I don't know. Yeah, he's correct. Nobody can out cheat this board. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you got to think of everything. You've got to think different ways of doing business through know, these kinds of times. All right, the next item is, uh, would someone like to make a motion to approve the minutes for work session to July 23rd, August 6th, and the regular meeting of August 9th, 2012? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any additions or corrections yeah, to the I minutes? I just have to uh, say from August 6th. I okay. And I want to look up that's going from August 9th. Okay. So we'll have all in favor say aye. 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 Uh, all opposed? Motion's carried. Okay, the next one is the, uh, we'd asked, we reviewed this earlier, we asked George to, uh, well first of all, we had the Catholic Charities Archdiocese of New York wants to hold the Orange County Country Roads Fall Foliage Bicycle Tour September 16th, Sunday, 2012. And there was a, uh, a glitch in the certificate of coverage for the insurance 
George has had that modified. You want to talk to us a little bit about that, George, and then we can make a motion to accept it. Yeah, they, were, they essentially were giving us an insurance certificate and taking it away in the uh, description mm -hmm. below because it had to be uh, only things that were related to what they were doing. So if we had a pothole or something that's going to get injured, uh, potentially the certificate of insurance wouldn't be worth the paper that it's written on. So um, they did change that, and it's been reviewed by council. I think you feel that it's appropriate now, right? We should change that language, right. and I guess we're set to go. Okay, would someone like to make a motion regarding this request? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. George, thank you for that uh, work. Getting that straight. Yeah, good. The other thing, folks, I'd like to talk about, too. We have a commissioner of insurance. That little bit of thing. You got to focus on this because you know what? If it's not done properly, it could fall apart later on and have a problem. So I, I appreciate George's uh, detail or attention to detail on that. Thank you. Okay, the next one would someone like to make a motion to authorize the supervisor to pay manual accounts payable uh, check run of 831 2012 amounting to $95,256.41? An accounts payable check run for 9-6-2012, amounting to $74,998.36. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion <coughs> um, Does anybody have anything for... Yes, I have two items. Okay. It's all right. Um, First, I want to announce I've joined an elite group uh, since September 1st. I'm not retired. We can probably say that everybody on this board is retired. Oh. I've gone crazy. I've gone crazy. We're all here every day. Every day. <laughs> every day. All of them. Uh, all of them. We're all here every day. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, the second one, I didn't see it here, but according to my... Uh, our church bulletin yesterday, Dennis Cookie has passed away. So I was wondering if we should advertise for you as town attorney. I don't know who this guy is, but yeah. if he came from the altar, it has to be the truth. I did. That's <laughs> because you're not dead. So yeah. I'm going to give back the dollar. I want his wallet. Don't yeah. his wallet. Yeah. 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 I was collecting money for dollars. Wow. Yeah, dollars? No, no. no. He's uh, $30. So <laughs> his next bill is going to his estate as soon as we ordered it. <laughs> Good. That, that won't be around. That's yeah. That's yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Well, your post not on anyway, but you, you would believe the phone calls. Uh, we I discussed it with some of the board members yesterday. Yeah. Apparently, it did appear in your church bulletin. But there were there were, <laughs> there were a few people today who were almost visibly shaken when they saw me. <laughs> no, one two. Uh, I remain nameless because one of them was trying to get a hold of some of my high school friends. He still lives in the area. Oh. He's a local village resident. And he was like, oh my God, I don't dare call the house, but he was trying to alert everybody else. And they were going to get together and go see my wife, oh. which would have been interesting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Does anybody know what the source of the problem is? I suspect, well, I know what it is. Uh, we were very fortunate years ago to have a health care worker who was of uh, uh, Slovakian descent. And she was very religious. In fact, she, she was just, uh, you know, a special place in heaven for her. If you can imagine this, she used to wheel my mother from Green Street up to St. John's twice a week for Mass, because my mother was paralyzed. Right. And this, this unfortunately, this, this uh, wheelchair was not mechanized or motorized. But, right. So, I mean, she was just a lovely woman, and she's since retired, and I think she still has a real fondness for the family. She was very religious, very active at St. John's. And I have a feeling as with the anniversary of my mother's death, which was August 31st, uh, she may have sent in a contribution, a request, and somehow, some way, they're like, well, it's got to be done. You know, you know, maybe you couldn't read the writing, the phraseology. <laughs> Who knows? You know, but it's there. I mean, George pointed it out to me. He brought me the bulletin this morning. Yeah. You know, this reminds me of, I have a friend of mine. Well, I ran in church. I should have a for you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I had, my brother was shaking, you know. Huh? Yeah, my brother was shaking. And uh, like with all families, not the publication, they're like, this is one of the major comments, but our family is so dysfunctional. Like, well, well, of course we wouldn't go. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting ready for the jet game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at the barbecue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
They were looking, they they were looking for the suicide note. <laughs> what the hell did he say? I know. <laughs> now, based on all of that, I guess that since this is our only meeting this week, yeah. I ought to have privilege of the floor for anybody who'd like to say anything they'd like to participate in. Or good, good that Dennis is still with us. <laughs> I was hoping I owed him money. <laughs> Do I owe Dennis any money? Oh, no. Well, you know that's who was calling. <laughs> okay, well, based on that, then, I'd like, would someone like to make a motion to go into executive session with the intent not to return to review the proposed tax surcharge status? PD Chase case status update, PD Chief status update, and the Dog Control Officer status update. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Yeah. Thank so you very much. Let's not forget tomorrow is 9-11. I don't know how to be reminded, yeah. but just Absolutely. keep those people in your yeah. Yeah. doors and prayers for tomorrow. Yeah. Bill Drive say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you, Bill? Have you got an extra copy? Yeah. I don't. Okay. I want to uh, uh, Jerry? You want to yes, sir. Oh, all right. One is a G, one is a J. You had your ice cream. Oh, you too, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, we go all go to now that we've been the Because that's a, you know, let me say, I told Jerry before that, that's a long Oh, what they did physically with that building and those grounds, they should go after the guy next to him because of the condition. <laughs> what if you buy know, that one and see what you can do with it? Don't you know, the one. Oh, so it's right here. I mean, we did some job on that part. I knew it wasn't cheap. You don't know who the contractors were. They did a nice job. Yes. He told me. It's all his design. It's all my son. I have to say, he planned everything. Worked with the contractors, picked the colors. It's beautiful. Well, it makes a nice difference on that sticker part of town. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a few more to do, but that, I mean, if you look at today versus 20 years ago, a lot of good things over here part of the community. Very so, busy there. Yes, yeah, very active. Yeah, yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. What a difference. I mean, because I've always come through there, ride my bike or yeah. walk or whatever, yeah. and it was always so quiet. <laughs> yeah. And now, I, I was no, shocked. Right. See, my wife was going to buy me the dog cone. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I said, well, that's not ice cream, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, you said, what's your point? <laughs> <laughs> that's, your, that's me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> people people bring their dogs and buy people ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Go to New York, not in Poe. London, Paris, Tokyo, Hong 